Hello, I'm Vitit Mantaborn, I'm a law professor at Chulong University and I'm very happy to be with you, particularly to talk a little bit about um, some opportunities for development, sustainable development goals, SDGs. The 2015 SDGs are based upon the philosophy of leave no one behind. So I think um, for us, if that's the uh, caption, we must push the implementation process to be very all-embracing, in other words, to cover everyone on the basis of non-discrimination. And this is useful also for an entry point in regard to human rights. SDG 16 out of 17 goals. Uh, SDG 16 is about inclusive society, accountability, and um, there are many uh, um, sub-targets or um, ways of measuring under this SDG 16, uh, about 10 targets under SDG 16 and there's indicators being involved. But um, I'll just take some examples today uh, where we're collecting information which indicates whether we're progressing or regressing. Uh, for example, it calls for a collection date of data to uh, cover intentional homicide. Uh, and this is something we should try to eradicate, reduce as much as possible by 2030, which is the time frame for SDGs generally. Uh, it calls for a reduction of unsentenced prisoners, which calls upon a more quality-based um, criminal justice system. It calls upon reduction of bribery, uh, particularly to public officials coming from companies and individuals. So. Um, these, these are entry points in terms of transparency as well as human rights and SDG 17 talks about implementation of agreements on human rights as well as to eradicate discrimination. So SDG 16 is very much linked with human rights and development and democracy and good governance in terms of transparency and their implications very much for a more open society including the market democracy. The challenge particularly on human rights is that um, SDG 16 in terms of implementation from the statistics available there has been actually regression not progression so it's been going backwards a little bit and it's a warning as to how we must improve our performance in terms of implementation of human rights as linked with SDG 16 and even UN statistics today after two years on after 2015 to 17 where the statistics popped up towards 2018 as now, uh, we can indicate by evidence um, that um, the um, intentional homicide is not, not reducing, um, unsentenced prisoners also not reducing, and thirdly, bribery, particularly to public officials, also not reducing. So uh, these are challenges that uh, call upon us to implement human rights much better. Uh, with due regard to all the commitments we have, not only under SDGs, but uh, various human rights treaties, principles, um, structures that we have, such as uh, human rights convention on children, women, and disabilities, to which all countries in Southeast Asia are parties, together with the involvement of all countries under the University of Review. So that's where we are, and uh, the proof of the pudding is in eating. So, Please use these tools well. We have to be vigilant. We're not going to be frustrated. We will use these tools with a degree of hope in terms of reaching out more to those who are marginalized, excluded. And a very good word that comes from SDGs as a whole is to be inclusive. To be inclusive means to move towards non-discrimination, overcome discrimination, overcome violence, and ensure that people have a voice and the choices to enable them to grow. Because after all, development is about realizing the fullest human potential.